Hey guys, it's Avast. This is the Respawn sit down. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the most iconic images, um, which could be good or bad. I don't know what iconic means in this statement, but we're going to have to go take a look. Oh yeah, that is a so that is a very very old photo actually. That's from 2018, literally like the first couple days I was in the Overwatch League. We went to a Korean barbecue place with my videographer slash photographer at the time. His name was John, and uh, also Mistakes, one of the, who was a legendary Russian player for Boston, came in, and that was when they had their perfect stage. He took this photo of me in the Gucci Gang beanie when we were doing that, and I was at that time I was trying to like grow out a beard because later I was having to do like a, I was having to do like a, a Gillette commercial or something. <laughs> so I was having to grow, I was having to grow out like my facial hair. So I was looking like a homeless person. And uh, you know, I just look like a dork. So that's really all there is. I like Korean barbecue. I was wearing a Gucci gang hat. That's all there is to it. Ah, yeah, we have, <laughs> we have the grainy, the grainy uh, photo of the me in the rat suit with the, we are going to beat you to death. I think that's from Mel, and they are like one of my, they're one of my major emote artists, and they've done a lot of like the uh, design and artwork for my channel. They were actually the person that made my initial Discord. Um, but I think that was like the first time I got, so there's a whole saga behind it of like, we engaged with brands on Twitter, one of them was Chuck E. Cheese, because we thought it would be funny to like make a, a, a player award after the matches. And then someone proposed the idea of getting like a donation goal if I get a knockoff Chuck E. Cheese rat costume mascot. And I found one and it looked like a really shady Chinese website. And I ordered it and never arrived. And it took months and months and months. And I refunded the money. I was gonna refund the money to the person, then it arrived the next day, actually. And so then I put it on and tried it out. And then a whole variety of meme templates were formed uh, uh, sort of around that chaotic energy, that vortex. And that's, that's definitely one of them is that we are going to beat you to death one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that one, uh, honestly, that one's tough to place because there was a, a huge myriad amount of images of me screaming incoherently into the, the camera. I'm assuming that one, by the look of it, I was still in my old bedroom before I moved in my house and before I moved here to Florida. And we're, so uh, it was probably season three, I think, or it was probably season three because I didn't have a beard then either because I did try in season two to grow a beard disastrously. Every time I try to grow a beard, it's gone really poorly. Um, so, and more than likely, I might've been raging at our own team actually about the mayhem, uh, probably a terrible C9. I'm just gonna roll with that. That's probably what it was. So Albert, you know, that one's on you. Ah, uh, yeah, that one's from this year or this past year. This That's from 2021, definitely, because that was the, uh, that was the uh, boss. Well, that can't be right, because that has the boss. Oh, it's because the Titans match had just happened. So I believe Eden, oh, which team was it that they had just beaten disastrously? It might have been Boston. Um, yeah, I think it was Boston, because they just had like a full, they had like the disastrous first hold. And, you know, when you're running a co-stream, you don't understand, you're like, especially for Overwatch League or other events, like, you do like three to four days at a time, and sometimes it's like each day is like eight to 10 hours of just like pure screaming incoherently into a camera. So eventually at, the, at one point you're just like, I just need substances to cope. And you know, that time it was wine because I watched this match and it burned my retinas. It was like staring directly into the sun. So I just picked up a bottle of wine and I just, I chugged it because it was, it was a bad time. Ah, that is the first and only time I was on the Overwatch League stage in 2018 preseason. I came in, subbed in for snow. And uh, you know, I did a nice, did a nice finger gun to the camera. I was like, oh, I can't wait to have a long, have a great season. It's gonna be a good time. And after that, I was never seen again on stage. <laughs> it was a vanishing. It was like a true crime podcast. Like last scene moments was me doing the finger guns on that stage. And um, still had my awful hairdo that time too. So, so it looked like a total dork then too. So I think, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a definitely like a. It's almost like one of those like legendary like crypt cryptid photos where like they see the Bigfoot walking away. It's like, you're just like, oh, are you ever gonna see them again type of thing? And that's what that photo is. Ah, that one's very recent. That is from, so from continuing the tradition of having me get dressed up in ridiculous manners, we uh, had a channel point goal in the stream and it was Goth of Ast. 
and uh, it's kind of self-explanatory because it's based off of another photo from high, from my freshman year of college that I showed people where I dressed up in that same outfit and I still had it in my closet. But then also at the time I had somebody available to do my makeup. So I said, I might as well just go all the way. And so I put it back on, chokers and everything. The channel point goal was met with enthusiasm because everyone wanted to see me to be goth, goth boy. And I uh, got the makeup on. Also, I'd grown up my hair to the e-boy part now, where my hair naturally parts. Where some people say it's the e-boy, I say it's more of like a beet farmer from the medieval times because it just like falls flat against my head. And I was, uh, I was the goth boy for that day. And in fact, that was the only time our team here for Misfits, one of the few times they won, won was Mayhem was when I was dressed up as that. So maybe it was like a good luck charm, me being the goth boy. So, you know, maybe I'll do that more in the future. So I, I remember exactly what that is. So that, so that's not even an image. Well, it's an image, but it's not a photo of me. That is an image that our, one of our designers here, our graphic designers, Popcorn, he posted on this Twitter thread uh, from Team Fortress TV. Because if you aren't, aren't aware, I used to play uh, Team Fortress 2 competitively before. And if you're, ever, if you're familiar with like the CS, Counter-Strike scene at all, or even like Dota a little bit, ESEA, which is one of the main uh, leagues that run those scenes in North America, they had a Team Fortress 2 division for a long time. They, I think it's been over for a couple seasons now, though. And uh, I used to be a very active member, played competitively, got to the actually got to the highest level of Team Fortress 2. You know, not a big deal. So did a lot of the Overwatch players. Not that good, though, at once I got there. My team got destroyed. But uh, I had made a post on Team Fortress TV about Engineer. If you guys know Engineer and the balance of that and uh, how the mini Sentry, the little turret you put down, like the Tor Viewing turret, but now it's the Sentry, the Engineer that Overwatch, you know, they ripped off from TF2, obviously. The, it, about how it's slowing down play and how you're all a bunch of big noobs and how it should be removed and Engineer was busted. And I think I was like 16 at the time, maybe making this post. So it was, uh, I'm surprised someone was even able to find that, honestly. And then apparently I talked to them and they said they've just been a long time lurker at Team Fortress TV, which is pretty crazy because when you go out and find people that are part of these like things, it's almost like being like finding another member of a cult out in the wild. And like you wouldn't expect to see them as like, oh, it's like, oh, you're part of this too. It's like, oh yeah, like I was there. Like we, we were all joined the blood sacrifice circle. So uh, it was kind of just wild to see that image in general. Mmm, another Boston image. That one was presented to me when we went to Boston in 2018. A fan, we were doing like a signing in like an Apple store or a Microsoft store. It was so hot, we were dying and people were coming in and talking to us and stuff because it's first season, everyone was hype. It's like Boston's like, ooh, like it's, yeah. Bought, Cause also Boston sports fans are crazy and it sort of bled over into the Overwatch League a little bit. And some guy presented this to me uh, of this fan drawn photo of me and it looked heinous. And for the longest time, I just used it as my profile picture for Discord and other things. I still have the photo too, buried somewhere, the image, the, 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 the picture. And um, they were very proud of it, that they made me look awful. So it's still kind of iconic. I've kept the, the trend going of every Discord profile picture is like a fan drawn, terrible fan art image of me. So uh, it's sort of a long tradition of me continuing to look really, really bad in, in images. If that fan put his heart and soul into it, then you're not Picasso, I'm sorry, but I respect the I respect the effort. I respect the effort though. But I do think that's not the best in, No, actually to be fair, in 2018 I was really ugly. So, you know, I was you know, honestly, maybe that was a pretty accurate rendition. I'm not sure. That might maybe maybe I'm too harsh. Well, this has been the respawn sit down. Make sure to uh, you know, check some of your out I mean, your some of your own iconic images. Go to your photo banks, go to your various folders, what's hidden in those and the subfolders, and Tag us on Twitter, tag Mayhem. Show us some of your most iconic images that I'm sure your friend have screen capped uh, late at night when you're in Zoom or Discord or whatever it may be. And I'm sure they're just as good as mine. Also make sure to like and subscribe below and uh, hopefully we can do a little bit more of these.